What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Country Time. It is Country Time, and we're going today. We're going to work on this thing right here. I I, I told him last night. If, for those of y'all that missed the community stream, the X carriage actually fit, so I didn't have to change anything on it. The the rod widths here are the same. It's just the length of the rods is different, so I didn't have to change anything. So that was pretty much a plug and play on there. Um. I did have an issue with the door. I had to print the MK3 hinges because the way that they work, they didn't work. They matter of fact, it broke the first hinge I tried on it. It didn't work. But really and truthfully, all we've got tonight, let's see. I've got to run motor wires. I've got to plug everything in. Run the uh, first thing I'm going to do is put the, uh, the screen on. I'm going to put the uh, screen right up here. Then I've got to plug it in get it done uh but after that i mean it should be just down to firmware but first off let's go say hey to everybody we got edge of tech techie dad patrick nijenhoff is in the house jake from state farm dave avery's here 247 hinky thank you for the message on facebook by the way and i sent you one back uh mr buttram sergio's in here michael castle's in here blasto supreme welcome my friend Dwayne S. and Robert Reynolds. And there's Carl, and Vince, and Fatal Paper Cut. Y'all just keep coming on in. We'll just sit here and chat for a minute. But first things first, let's go ahead and get started on mounting this monster right here. Because that's pretty much the last thing I've got to mount. And I'm going to need a hammer nut. Let me get this on here. Now, I'm going to have to go back to the Mark II settings to see what's going on. This thing, that thing pisses me off more than anything you could imagine. I am so mad right now. I'm not stopping it, though. I'm going to let her run and see how it turns out. All right. I need one more. I got a screw right there. So we do this. For those of y'all that missed the community showcase last night, it was a pretty good show. Mr. Jim being very hospitable to everybody, which is highly unusual because Jim's always a butthead. No, I'm just kidding. How, how what? Mad am I? I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? I am about the uh, Prusa Slicer thing. That really, it don't, don't make me mad. It's just aggravating. Because now I've got a seven-hour print, and it's not going to be like I wanted it to be, but it'll be good enough to hell with it. All right, so if I do that, we're going to turn you up and turn you on. All right, let's do that. Let's get my power supply over here. Another thing that I'm going to have to design is a power supply holder because... I do not have the Prusa power supply holder because I didn't have a Prusa. So my power supply is mounted a different way. So basically today the power supply is going to be laying on the side. It's not going to be mounted because I'm going to have to design something for that. And it's, it's going to come. It really is. And I might go back and uh, find a Prusa one because I've got the together switch to, uh, I say together switches. It's the switch that is together with the plug, not separate like on a Prusa. So I don't have the same switch that the Prusa has on it. Um, no, all of the green that you see is PLA. So no, they're not all PETG. Not at all, buddy. Everything that you see that is green is PLA. Everything that you see is that's black and or gray is PETG. I mean, the yeah, the green is PLA. So, yeah. What's up, Michael Fox? How are you? All right. Screen is mounted now. So, 
now it's just a question of wiring it and finding out because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I have firmware on here, but the firmware that's on here was custom for the one that I had. And I don't think it'll work for this. So what I'm going to have to do is on my motor cables, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, the reason that I couldn't use the Prusa firmware was that the, hold on, I got to get my mouse from over this because it's hiding everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, I need, I need to get a power supply case for the bear and then I'll print it in the alien ooze green. God, that thing looks slick though, don't it? Look at that. Ain't, don't that stuff pop? It just pops. It really does pop. That's freaking cool. And what I'm printing over here in multi-material is actually for this as well, but it's not necessary to get it running. But if if my motors end up being backwards, I'm just going to swap the cables. I'm going to turn the cables, flip the uh, plug in, and uh, we'll go with it that way. That way, I should be able to use the proof of firmware. The only problem I'm going to have, and I'm going to tell you right now, that this is going to be an issue is during calibration, it does the XYZ calibration. I think my Z will be fine, but the X and Y, this bed moves so much with this plastic um, Y carriage on it that I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, it, it's pretty wobbly. Pretty daggum wobbly. And I don't know if I can do it with wire ties and tighten down the bearings or if I'm going to have to, to break down and order a squashed frog. Good, Bob Finner. How are you? Incoming call from 850-294-9612. Mm, it's my daughter calling. Actually, no, Edutech, I really didn't. The only thing I did was put the case on that you saw. That was it. And then I just put the monitor on, but I only put the cover on. Everything else was on here last night. I showed you it was wired and ready to go. I told you that's all I had to do was plug wires in. So let's get started doing that, and we will see. I don't think I'm even going to straighten them up because Edge of Tech bet me last night that I couldn't get it printing or that if I got it printing plastic, he would give away a $25 gift card on his next community showcase next Monday with Pooch. So there you go. Does a bear print in the camper? We're going to find out. We are going to find out. Now, I do got my other powder-coated sheet on here. This is the one that came with the 2.5 upgrade that is on here. I've got the original one, the, the pre-release ones that Joseph Prusa gave me. I've got it. Don't use it at all. This is the one that came with the 2.5 upgrade, which is the bed that's on here. And then the new one that I ordered is different again. It's actually on the Prusa getting printed on as we speak. So... Let's do what we got to do. And I've got the instructions up over here. I'm closing that. That's good to go. I can minimize this right here and get it out of my way. All right. So now I've got to plug in the LCD cables one and two. And that is going to be fun because they have to go where they got to go, right? So we're going to do that first. You want to do that first? Is that first? And I'm not going to like get a camera to show you what I'm plugging it. I'm going to need a light, though. Where'd my light go? There's my light, though. I am going to need this. I got a USB light here my daughter gave me. The one that just called, actually. And I can take this if I can find it. Where you at? Hold on. I think it's plugged in. It is. It is plugged in, but I'm going to unplug it. Pull it down. I'm going to plug it in out here so I got extra extra cord. Now, let's see. Let's see if it works. Hey, it works. All right, so I can actually have some light on the situation. If I clamp this right here. I can turn that. Oh, that's bright. But I can see. Y'all can't see, but I can see. <laughs> All right. So where are we going? 
Do I want to put those on first? I really don't want to put those on first because they're uh they'll be in the way. So let's do this. Let's do our motor cables first. Y'all want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's run this down over here, kind of like it's going to run. Yeah, I got all kind of crap in here, huh? All right, so I have a piece of stuff right there. Let's put that through that hole. Let's see if I can get all of these cables in here. I can. How about that? How about that? All right, so I am going to go ahead and tie those down. Hey, I found some, uh, I went over into my old studio and found some Prusa wire ties. I'm trying to keep up, guys, which y'all know I'm building. And besides that, I want to get somebody a free or $25 off some filament. So, you know what? That one's too small. I don't need to use that smaller one. I wonder if one of the big ones will go through that hole. I don't know if it will or not. I don't know if it'll let you use a wide one. No. You're feeling enlightened. That's bright, ain't it? Sorry about that, but I can see. And that's what's most important, right? Is that I can see. All right, so I got some tiny ones, and then I've got these little ones. So let's use a little one. Because I believe that that'll go through there. It will. They should not let anybody with small hands design anything. Nobody. Now, if I have to take that out, I'm going to be sad. I will be sad if I have to take that out. And I might, because my motors may turn backwards. All right, so we got everything. Yep. Snip. Way to chip the bed, dummy. All right, let's see what we got now. First off, first thing first, we got, we need to do the motor. I need to do all the motors first because if not, they're in the way. And this is the E-motor. Get the wires untangled. You're missing a wire completely. Nope, that's a single wire. It's supposed to be that way. All right, so the E-motor. God, that thing's in the way. Yeah, look big on the CAD screen. You betcha. All right, so now which way do they go? Let's see. I think that one of them, if I'm not mistaken, one of them has a, nope. 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 Sweet. I may not have to flip wires anyway. I may just have to flip. All right. Now, somebody was telling me my cables needed to be longer, but you forget that the cables for the other one or the other printer was 400 millimeters tall. So I don't really need longer cables for this. So this is going to go underneath. This is going to be one of my Z motors. And we're just going to guess here and figure that they all go like this. One there. My next, what does this one say? This one says, these come off my ANET A8, believe it or not. Ha, ah, yeah, you wish. What does this one say? This one says, I don't even say. What is this one? This one's my X, so we're going to stick with it with the X. We're going to go with this one with the Z. Am I missing one? Missing one. Hold on. No. There's my, there's my E. There's a Z. There's a, this is my Y. No, I got to have another Z. So I'm missing one. I'm missing my Y cable. Hmm. That may put some dampers on me printing. So let's go ahead and put, this one may be the Y. Let's go with X and Y. Where does Y go? Where's the Y motor go? It's the second one, ain't it? Come on, you can do it. Get down here so you can see. 
Yep, Y is number two. So we're going to put black to the top. Put Y right there. We're going to take you. And this says X motor. So we're going to put you in the X. You can smell the magic smoke. This thing better not smoke. It's printed before. And I ain't done nothing to it since then. But I know doggone well there's not a motor cable in here. What are you? <laughs> I found a long motor cable. Are they the same? Let's see if they're the same. Nope, it's black green. Yep, black green. These are blue and red. Black, green, blue, and red. This is black, green, red, and blue. So I need to swap these right here. Let's look at the other end. Make sure. Black, red, green, and blue. Yep. So according to this, I got to swap two pins right here. I've got to change the blue and the red. So where's my dental pick? Right there. <laughs> yeah brian's always good for the puns now that is a fact for sure show and he don't miss a lick mr vines be great if i could get a hold of that well i can't believe i'm missing one i had them all so i don't know why i'd be missing why is one missing why are we missing a whole motor cable? So I see blue and red, blue and green in here. There's not a motor cable in this box. And they were all supposed to be right here together. Oh, there it is. It fell out the box. Never mind. All right, so, yeah, and this one is actually cor corrected. And it's, it's uh, wired backwards from how I've got the others plugged in. So we will probably have to plug them, turn them over. This one says it is a Z motor. So that is going to be my other Z motor. I'm going to put this one behind here because hopefully I won't be turning these around. Let's put that in there. Come on. There. There we go. All right. So there's all my motors. This one is the X motor. So it's got to go down here. I think you need another printer. Get it. Get you another one. All right. So there's the X motor. Right there. All right. So this will be my Y motor right here. I don't know if that's long enough. We'll find out, though. Should be. Yeah. Get down underneath the printer there. Bud. Let's flop this over. Ooh. Catching on all the screws under here. Let's get you plugged in right there. You're sensing, Jim. Man, you've lost your mind. Jim ain't keeping his $25. This is the e-motor. So I am going to plug it in. Which way did I go? Black up. All right, plug in the E motor. This one is my nearby Z motor. Let's take it underneath the bottom. Oh, I printed all the clips and all that stuff, but until we put plastic on, on the platter, I ain't worried about wiring. There's one Z motor. Let's 
go ahead and run this long one over here and get her done. So I can get it out of the way. Ooh, at the wire. Yeah, when you got a 400 millimeter tall printer and you go to a 210 millimeter tall, whatever this is, I think it's 210. Ooh, what a rat's nest I got. All right, so there's you. Let's plug a U in right there. All right. So now we got those. All the motors are plugged in. Now what do I got coming over here? I got heater bed power and main power. And you ain't even, man. All right. I wish I could block that like that. I ain't got nothing to do it with. Let's see if I can turn it down some. That's a little better. And I can still kind of see over there. All right, let's get all this stuff out of the way. That, what do I got plugged in down there? Okay, that's sensor, pin to probe, don't have any idea, thermistor, come on. Oh, what a job, what a job, what a job. What happens when you got to replace them? Heat, heater element right here. All right. So I've got to jump over. I have got to jump over. Where does this go? Hot end nozzle output, heater bed output. All right, so you go right here. That right? Nope, got to turn you over. You go right there. And you, my dear friend, go right here, right next to that. Boy, oh boy. Seven is a lucky number. I hear you. Wish that was the case. I'd have had some more kids. <laughs> no, wasn't it? new. Not new, but new. All right. So power goes in there. I'm not touching that right now. All right. Motor cables are all on. Let's go find out what we got to plug in where as far as uh, all this stuff here. You, where does the nozzle thermistor go? What is, let me, let me zoom in on this picture. Ah, that's all I got to do is plug it in. That's what I'm doing. All right, so the nozzle thermistor goes right there. I see you. I do. No, no, that's not the nozzle thermistor. I lost it. There it is right there. Nozzle thermistor goes right there. Well, plug on, buddy. You go that way. You go that way. Like that. All right, so now let's take this right here. Let's run this in here. Ain't you supposed to run a wire tie or something through there? I forget. This has got the uh, cloth on it, so probably not. All right, we'll just leave it like that. That's fine. It's out of the way. All right, you... This one? This one. Come on. That's the filament sensor. That is the new thermistor. The heat bed thermistor. Where do you go? Not heat bed, hot end thermistor. Hot end, wait. Heat bed thermistor I got in the wrong spot. The nozzle thermistor goes where I put the heat bed in. That won't work. 
Dobre. Dobre, you go right there. There we go. All right, so. Got my two power. All right, the Pender Probe changes, so I'm not plugging that in. The hot end fan. This is my Pender Probe. What is this? Is that my new hot end fan? I think that's the new hot end fan. Where's the cooling fan? That was the cooling fan that I plugged in right there for the thermistor. I don't need that plugged in there. Print cooling fan. Come on, get out. God, I hate it when they do that. They decide they want to stay where they're at. Give me my pliers. Come on, you bum. Again, fat fingers. I'm not made for this crap. And I can't see nothing over there. And it pulled the whole damn thing off. Don't you love it when they do that? What the crap, man? All right, so now you have got to get bang on there. Come on. Without being in the pins, doofus. There we go. Now. Let's get the actual thermistor and plug in. This is the hot end thermistor. Woo! What's up, David Olson? How are you? All right, so let's click this into there. Now, this was my hot end fan, and it goes down here. It's in that kooky one, right? that right? Where in the hell is that? There it is right there. Now, I know this one matters, but I'm going to do it the way, this way right here. Because I don't know no better. If it don't work, then that means I got it plugged on backwards. There's you. All right, so now let's swap over to, well, I've got my two end stops, but let's swap over to the, this is the Y end stop, and it goes right there. And the X end stop goes up at the top. Let's go underneath the bottom. The way it's supposed to. I can pull you back out and do the same with you, Kena. Let's take you underneath the leg over here. You're in the way. Go away. All right, so you can go right there. Now then, let's get these. Let's get these couple plugged in. I got the other page up over here. All right. So the Pender probe goes on the red. So that's this one. And it won't plug in but one way. So I should be all right with that. Come on, you can do it. Wait a minute. Hold on. That the pender, yeah, that's the pender probe. And it goes from there to there. It goes in this middle one right here. I've actually got another one of these somewhere around here. And then you go in the top. Right there. 
And now where do you go? How do you plug onto the fan? Wait, is there another one for the fan? No. But yes, there is. There's two right back to back. Hold on. I'm going to have to zoom in on this. So it goes on the back one. I guess the fan goes on the front one. Print cooling fan. No. Nozzle hot end fan. What the hell do I got? That's my print cooling fan. So this goes right there. I think ain't nothing that's going to smoke it though, so it's all right. What the heck? I unplugged it. It's on my book. All right, so you go on here. Here. I don't know if I can get that with my big fat fingers or not. God dang it. Quit unplugging the light. I didn't unplug it. It's still plugged in. Yeah. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I got it that time. But now, for my fan unplug, goes right in front of it. I think I got it. I believe I got it. Let's uh see if we can get these wires out of the way of the bed. Ow, my finger. See if we can do something to pull this over here out of the way. Because I got a bunch of junk in here now. All right, let's get that. Now, let's take my two power plugs. And let's run them underneath. Even though I don't want to. Let's do it anyway. Try to get them under all the motor wires here. All right, there's one. Because it's just going to kind of lay over here to the side until I can get it fixed. There was one of these that was out right there. Let's, let's uh, make sure our connections are tight. I know I'm out of camera. I'll be back in a second. Oh, come on. All right, that's pretty tight right there. That don't matter. Power's off. So it don't matter which one of these go. They're both 12 volts, so it doesn't really matter. Positive and negative is the same for both of them, I believe. If I'm wrong, y'all hurry up and tell me before I plug it in. I have to get all this stuff out the way so that I can get the main plugs put on there. And we're going to go with the top ones first because that just makes more sense to me. There. And then my brown one, white one right there. It goes underneath there. Right there. Now, all this crap is in the way, and I know I'll get it. But I've got to put on my two wires right here. Now, which one is number one? Which one's the number one LCD cable? 
LCD with two stripes connector is P2. I don't have two stripe connectors. All right, and the stripe goes that way. All right, so we're going to call this number one. I got a Sharpie over there. I'm going to mark on it. All right, which one's P1? P2 is that one. So we're going to do, we're going to call this P2 right here. Plugged in. And we're going to call the other one P1. What's up, printing and paint? Dermot printing nerd trolling for dollars. All right. Now y'all stay the hell out of the way over there. Whew, you're the worst though, ain't you? Let me see if I can pull you underneath here a little better. I'll fix all that in a little while because I'm gonna have to unplug you, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's take this. And let's flip this dadgum thing up on its side one more time. This one here is number one. So that one goes into right there. Number one. Right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, you ain't gonna work like that. Hold on. I got some of these that are like three meters long, but I don't want to screw with that. That's number one. And this is number two. Man, I tell you what. Number one. If this lights up when I get done, I'll be freaking surprised. Like all of y'all. One and a two. All right, hold on. Let me get the camera ready. I'm fitting to put power to this sucker. Let me see if I can get it to take a picture over here. Y'all hold on. Let me get this camera set up. It's pretty daggum good right there. It's upside down though. Can't be having her upside down. Turn around. Turn around the other way. I can't do two shots. All right, so let's go to advanced. Auto focus is off. Let's uh Go back over to here. Sort of release. Let's go to settings. Change the camera to this one right here. Hit done. There it is. Are y'all ready? Are we ready for smoking? Smoke them if you got them. Let me make sure I, I got to have a power cable. All right. Power cords in the power supply. I'm probably going to have to change all kind of crap on this thing. I know. You named a good plug. Let's plug you in there. There you go. Got power to the power supply. Got a beep beep. Something beeping. What you reckon? Let's unplug the monitor. The cables here and see. All right, so it's the cables to the monitor. All right, let's try this again. Let's try it the other way because this might be one of them swap monitors. Have to be careful with these things because it's not a Prusa monitor, believe me. It's a cheap one, but it didn't it didn't beep whenever I took the monitors out. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if I hit the home button and see what it does. I bet it don't work. Mm. 
Nope. They're just vibrating. Okay, so they're all backwards. All right, let's turn them over. Get my light back so I can turn my motors over. Right, there's you. There's you. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Come on out. It ain't well done yet. It ain't printing. But I am only 40 minutes into the show. So I got a few minutes to play with things here. All right, let me turn my e-motor over. Because if I ain't mistaken, they were all backwards before. And this is running Prusa firmware, but it's not the original. I made some changes to fit that other printer. So, got a pair of those bothering me. Let's try it again. Oh, we can just try to move one of the... Let's do that. Let's move an axis. Let's move the Y first. All right, it's it's moving. It doesn't know where it's at, so it's not going to let me move it far. So, all right, so we're good there. Let's move the X. What's it doing? Is it even trying? It's hitting it, but it ain't moving. Why ain't you moving? Are you loose? Yeah, you, you're all right. Well, I know the, the uh, hot end fan works. But my X motor's not moving. Why not? So I have red, blue. I think those are backwards. Nope, red, blue. Black and green. It's in there. No movement on the X. All right, let's try the Z. And they're vibrating the high heaven too. All right. Let's try turning the X over because it, it felt like it was trying. It just wasn't. You would think that would be backwards though, not incorrect. Try X again. Frightening sound. I don't know about that. All right, so you're good there. It's trying to move. But I don't know what it's trying to do. Because it ain't trying to move right. Make sure all my cables has got contact here. Try again. Right, and the thing is, the board might have went bad. I might have bumped it down in the box. You can't ever freaking tell. I might have to pay for that $25 gift card. Yeah, because I can I can I can hear it. Or I can feel it trying to move. No, that's backwards now. It thinks it's moving, but it's not. It's like the motor don't have enough power. That's what it feels like. It's like the motor doesn't have enough power to move or unless my belt's slipping. Let me go see. That might be the case, but I don't think so. Pretty damn tight. Let me turn it on. I'm sorry I had to move it away so I can grab a hold of this thing while it's moving. Believe me, all I'm doing is moving the X again. All 
I know it's jumping back and forth. You know what? Did I swap one of my motors? I bet I did. I bet one of these is wrong. Let's find out. And remember, my two Z motors are brand new. So those are the wires that came with it right here. And they are. Uh oh, shit. Scared me. <laughs> Let's see. We got blue, red, green, and black. So these are different than what I've got on my Z. So that's probably the reason for that. Blue, red, green, and black. So these have, the ones on the Z have to change. All of them have to change. To blue, red, green, and black. Unless I just snip off the ends of this. Make it, I don't know if that'll fit in there, will it? Will it fit in there? Oh, it might. If I make it smooth. Yeah, I've tried it in both directions. It's not doing it in either direction. But, I have to say, one or two of these may have been changed at some time. They're not hard to swap around. Just a pain. And the Y motor is working just fine, right? Here, let's move it all the way back. All the way back. Yes. So why is working properly? It's the only one that's working properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my snips right here. I'm going to clean this plug off of here so that I can get it into the plug that it's in there. I believe you can. Can you do it? No, it won't freaking fit. God dang it. I don't want to do that. All right. Let's swap them around. That really shouldn't matter though, right? Here we've got black and green, so I'd have to swap those two. Is that right? Black and green go together, did in blue and red. Black and green. Hold on. The red and green are in the middle, black and green go together. All right. What did Kit say? Might have been in the woods. You can't ever tell. All right. Then I'll worry about the X in a minute. Let's get the Z doing what it's supposed to do. Because I think I can do that one quicker. Uh, famous last words, right? All right. First things first. We need to swap the, the green and the blue are in the middle. That's not what I need. Here, green and red in the middle. All right, let's look. Let's look what I got. That's correct. Blue. Okay. On this one, blue and black are swapped. So I just need to swap blue and black on the other end. Right? Right. That's the motor plug. Oh, that will work, won't it? Let's see if that'll work. Gonna be close. Should work, though. Should be able to snip and go. It was a joke, was it? All right. I don't mind jokes. Jokes are good. Jokes are good. Nothing wrong with jokes. if I can get this to plug into the Z motor. I don't think I can. But we're going to find out. Nope, it won't. That's what I figured. God dang it. This won't let you go in there, will it? I'll get out of the way so I can see. Uh 
Uh huh. No. Ain't really no hunt there. Not really. Doing surgery. What's up, Bob Finner? Are you gonna fit? Nope. You ain't gonna go, are you? Nope. Swap wires. We'll get it right. All righty. That's got to be right. That ain't right. So I got to swap my blue and black on the other end. Wait, no, that's not you. Give me the right end. Give me the motor end. Well, if I grab the same cable every time, I might get the right end, right? So I have. Yep. Yeah, all right. I know what we got to do now, or at least some semblance of it anyway. Turn over. Because these are new motors. I forgot all about that. I didn't even use my old Z motors. Now, the X motor, I don't know what's going on with it. Unless that was my E motor. No, it wasn't my E motor because it's still on there. But it's an A net motor. What is the Y motor? The Y motor is an A-net motor, so they should be wired the exact same, and they are. So let's do this. I'm going to unplug. Here, turn it off, stupid. I'm going to unplug the Y motor and see if the X motor will run on that. Right, that's you. Z. What do I do with my X motor? There you are. See if my X motor will run on my Y motor. If not, I may have. If it don't, if it does, I may have a bad cable. Nope, I got nothing. Oh, that's because I ain't got the damn thing plugged on to the X. I got it plugged on to the Y, which is where I wanted to go, right? Is that right? Yeah, dummy. I'm over here trying to move X. Need to move Y. See, I get the same thing. And it's not making a god off a racket. So it's not, it may be the cable. Let's find out. Which one can I use? I can use the Z from that side, right? So let's put the X back in there. Red up, just like so. That's the Y. All right. So there's the Y. What is that's the Z? There's the Y right there, and that could be a bad cable. You can't ever friggin' tell about this crap. Red up. Let's unseat it from the X right here, and reseat. See that red wire looks like it slid out a little bit. I ain't paid no attention to the pun game, though. That's the problem. Same exact thing. Hmm. I wonder. 
I got some right here. And they are the same as these. Let's try one of these right here. And now this one should make a damn racket. Because these are the same as my new motors. And I have got a couple of these, I believe. And I believe these will work regardless. Same exact thing with a different cable. Hmm. What y'all reckon? Let's see if I can move the, the Y with the X. Let's turn it off. It may be a bad motor. Let's try to move the Y with the X motor. With the X driver. How to rule that out. So it's not the driver. The Y moves perfectly with that. So motor. Do I have another motor? That's the question. I do. I do, said the blind man. I've got another ANET motor down here. Let's see. All right, let's disconnect you from here. Take you out. I don't need you. Where's my X motor cable? Right there. Let's see if I can get you out of here. Let's test the motor. How about that? Because if it's a motor, that's not too bad of a fix. Actually. Which way are we going? We're going red up, right? Yep, red up. Power on. Got one sitting on the table. Let's see if it works. And that one's working perfectly. So guess what we get to do? Think about it is it's just moving it don't seem like it's moving far enough but i guess it is all right we get to change motors which is not the worst thing that could happen first let's get the z's working and i've got two cables i believe let's make sure that this will work because i've got two of these all right so i know my x cable is good so we're good there what is this one that's the x we know the Y is good, so let's go ahead and plug in. I don't know which way to go with it, but I'm going to go with the black up. These are wired just like the ones that came with the motor, so hopefully they are correct. I believe I've got two of these. I hope I do. Oh, yeah. Let's go with the black up. Right there. Now let's take one of these and plug it in under here. And if that's all it is, we're good to go. Now, I know that this firmware is not going to be the best. And I'll unplug. I don't want to be shocking the motor. I know this firmware is not going to work. So, whoops. Sorry, guys.
All right. Let's see if the Z will move. Oh, I hear some noise already. And it's Z motors. All right, that ain't even close to right. All right those are not right. All right, cut off. All right, I don't think that's not backwards either, so that's just wrong wired. Just wrong wiring. That's paired wrong. Which I'm hoping. Wait a minute. Only one of them was plugged in, you dummy. Are you plugged in? All right. What's not good? Oh, wow. That's not good. Nope. Nope. Let's swap them. Let's swap the two centers and see what we get. If I can get the damn thing open. Oh, yeah, I can get this one open. This one's actually pretty easy. I like that. Well, that one was. Let's swap the pairs around. I would show y'all what I'm doing, but nah, it's all right. You'll be okay. Green one's out. Now let's get the red one. And swapped. Now let's try it again. Black up. It grabbed that time. Backwards, but it's moving. Loud. But that's that's to be expected, right? Come on. Man, that's tight. Where do my pliers go? There you are, biting me. Come on, get out. Man, I didn't want to let go. Let's see how that sounds. Move axis. Z motor. Oh, they just sound wrong. But I've got the other one plugged in. There we go. Now let's let's fix the other one, and we'll be good to go on the Z motors. Then we can swap out the X motor. Then we'll reroute everything. Then we can try to print something. Where am I at? I'm at seven oh five. I got fifty five minutes to lay some plastic, or I owe Jim twenty five dollars. I 
Come on, boys. Both of y'all get out there. Come on. Man, I can't even see nothing with my glasses on. That's messed up. Swap the red and the green. Come on. Red and the green. They are swapped. Push the pins back down. What we got? We got blue up. Boy, that sounds good, don't it? The blue side is up. So now, if I go to move to Z. We're smooth as silk, and both of them going up like they're supposed to. Beautiful. Look at that. Y'all can't even see it. Hold on. Let me swap cameras back. Do -do -do -do. Settings. Camera 930. Get done. You can see the Z is now moving as it should. Had to swap the pairs on the new cables, but they're working great. So now it's basically I got to route them because they are not routed at all. But first things first, let's swap the dadgum motor over here because that's going to suck. Not really. Not too bad. All right, camera, get out of the way. Let's, uh, let's do that. Unplug the printer. Or not unplug it, but turn it off. Let's take this down. Because all I got to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Y'all shake your rump. One, a two, a three. Whoop! It fell out. So now I need my small. Where you are? There you are. My grub screw. I'm missing a grub screw. A grub screw has fallen out. Never to be found again. Uh-uh. Get your ass in the garbage over there. So I don't pick you up again. What'd I do with the new one? Right there. And you're plugged in. I don't need you plugged in right now. Come on. Turn that around to there. Man, I can't believe I lost the grub screw. I'm pretty sure I got another one somewhere. Just not right on hand right now. <sighs> Man, I need a new wire brush because uh, this one here about had it. But the uh, gears all got all kind of belt in it. Let me make sure I wasn't messing up. No, I ain't messing up belt. But it wasn't moving. All right, let's try it this way. Get in there. First thing first. The three screws are back in it. So now let's take you. Pop you underneath here. I know, I know I'm out of camera. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. I know y'all care a lot. Hey, you got my grub screw? Send that joker back, man. Can't never have too many grub screws. Now, this is my Y. 
that's my X, Y. It's right there. Come on. Come on, dude head. There you go. Oh, turn it on. Let's try the X now and see what we get. If it don't move now, something else is wrong. Because I already tried this motor. All right, hold on. I think it's moving and the belt's slipping. No, it's just bouncing back and forth. Now, did I or did I not just try this off of the printer? I just tried this with this cable. Let me try this other motor over here. And see if it does the same thing. Because that one was spinning on the table. And this one is spinning the same on the table. Bad board, you think? Not enough power, maybe? You think maybe the firmware is jacked up? Yeah, but I mean, it was running before. That's the problem. The firmware should be the same. Yeah, but I'm, I'm holding, watch this. I'm holding this and it won't spin the motor. And I'm just holding it. It'll start and then it quits. The belt is not too tight. I'm going to tell you right now, that is that is not the case. I can pinch the two together with no problem. And moving this is not, not difficult at all. Huh. But if that was the case, if it was a bad board, all right, then when I put it on the Y and go to move it with the Y, it should work just fine, right? According to that, that should be the case. No, I didn't change the cable. I didn't need to change the cable. So now I've got this one plugged into the Y, which does move the bed, and the bed belt is tighter than the X carriage belt. So let's, I don't want to do that. Let's go back. Let's go to settings. Move axis. Move Y. It does the same thing. It starts moving and then dies. So I wonder, but at least it starts to move. Oh, I can't hold it. And then it skips. I ain't sure what's going on here. I really ain't. Because if that was the case, all right, when I plug the Y motor in, I should be able to hold, I should be able to hold this belt and the motor not turn. But I don't think that's going to be the case. What's the odds of me having two bad motors? Which they're both a net motors. Let me see. Let me see what's happening back here. Yeah, when I hold this one really tight, it does the same thing.
So I wonder. Let's see. It's not that daggum. The belt's not too tight. I don't believe. I mean, that's just crazy. Now the 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 carriage is. It's not. That's not. That's nowhere near. Too hard. I've got two more motors down here. They're running lead screws right now, but I've got two more down here. Let's try that. Tell you what, let's try that. Let's plug them into my lead screw motors because these are not, that's an A-net motor. These are my A-net motors. So you think all of the drivers on the board went bad? I don't believe that. I just don't believe it. And see, those won't work. Does these work fine? I wonder. Let's see how these do. I mean, the whole damn board would have had to go bad. No, these do the same thing if I hold them. These do the exact same thing. So it's not that. Oh, come on. I even tried to move it, though. To help it move. I tried to help it move, and it wouldn't move. This is my X motor right here. It goes red to the top. Oh, I know there's still time. No, I've tried the different cables on it too, Carl. I did do that. Yeah, it's not that damn tight, though. It's trying, but it ain't trying friggin' hard. Tell you what. Let's upload the Prusa firmware and see. Yeah, but this is, that's what I'm saying. This firmware that's running it's the same firmware that was printing before, before I took it off. I haven't changed the firmware. So let's plug this in right here. And let's go put the 2.5 firmware, which I've got to go download because I do not have it. Let me get my keyboard from over here. All right, Prusa firmware right there. This is a 2.5, not the 2.5S. So there we go. So we download, what is it? Yeah, the 2.5 download firmware right here. Let's go up here. Show in folder. Let's extract this stuff. All right. So that's done. Now let's open Prusa Slicer. Could be. I'll have to look and see if I got another motor anywhere. Just to try. Just to see. All right, so if I go to configuration, all right, so let's browse to my latest download, downloads, for the Rambo 1A, hold on, 
English and Czech. English and Czech is fine, right? Advanced output log and flash it. It's flashing. Well, that's going to suck if it's a board. No, it was, it was my home build Prusa clone. That's what it was, Patrick. That sucks, too, because this is an original Rambo. But got Z and Y working. I just got to get X working. That just don't make no sense. No, no, no. I didn't change anything. It's the same ANET cables. All right. So there's that. It says it flashed. I'll unplug it. There you go. Now I have a blank screen. I wonder why. Because the cables are backwards. Nope. I got nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Configuration, flash printer firmware, browse it, and advance. Let's flash it again. Yeah, the Y works fine, Bob Finner. right blasto supreme that's exactly what it sounds like it's reading Says done. Then when it tries to reboot here, yeah, I get a beep. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's take these off. I get no beep. Let's go into Proner Face and see what we get with Proner Face. Move out of the way, buddy. Front face. Com one, no, we need com six. Let's connect. Pause for user. The SD failed, which is fine. All right. So if I say G1 X 50, it didn't work. 
didn't send anything. Am I plugged in up here? Yeah. I'm plugged in. Do I got power? Yes, I got power. MMU not responding is disabled. That's fine. I don't want you to have that. Why did that not work? Shouldn't that work? So now if I go right over here and say it's not taking any commands. It sends it, but it doesn't do anything. Printer is now online. Okay. Everything's right, but this is not taking any commands at all. So 115.2, that is right, right? It says it's waiting on me. Let's see. Oh, that's right. This is friggin' proof of firmware. What's the command to get it out of the damn, what you call it? Out of the, uh, hold on. I need my light on and I can't see without it. Nope, you ain't there. Get out. I don't want no power. None. Are you plugged in? Yeah, you look plugged in. Got nothing that time. Nothing, nothing, nothing equals nothing. Come on, you dunderhead. Get on there. I got nothing either way. Any way I do it, I got nothing. Nothing. Am I on there correctly? Am I missing a row? Don't think so. Hold on. Trying to see. If I don't get it printed, we will continue on Thursday. Should have printed already. All right, so are you plugged in correctly? Yes, you're in there on the pins like you're supposed to be. Got nothing. Well, it flashed on and then it flashed off. Well, I don't know what to do then. I'm at a loss. No, there ain't no magic smoke. I'm not getting any display now whatsoever. I'll swap these around.
There, now I have display, but it's wrong. Yeah, I probably did. You are probably correct. So let's go grab the proofs of firmware on GitHub. Let's do that. Can we do that? Then there's something special you have to do to compile that crap. Let's find out. I don't know if I got Marlin on this thing. Let's see. Bruce of Firmware, help GitHub, right there. So these should, I want the MK. Two five. Where's Gusner at when I need him? Not yet. No, I haven't. All right, so that's those. Let's clone or download. That's what I thought. I didn't think it was much, Joe. Let's extract it out. Uh, let's go down here and find that folder. And see if I got Marlin on here. I do. Go to the variants. We have the Let me copy this over. Do you change the names of these to config.h or is it you just paste the variant over? I think you just paste the variant over, right? All right. So let's see. Do I have Marlon? Yes, I do. Does anybody know? No. Do you change the name of the you change it to config prusa, right? Printer type one two five. No, that's fine right there. Yes, configuration underscore prusa dot h. It's actually already set to the i three two point five. It's already set to that here. And then the screen, de -de 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 -de, but that shouldn't matter. All right, that would be, is that, that's in, there it is, right there. So general LCD, right? Yeah. Extruder pulses per step. That's fine. All right. Let's see if it'll boot up with this one. Let's go to tools. Find my board. Board. Rambo. Tools. Port. Got to plug it in. Can't do it if it ain't plugged in. Tomorrow, going to Galaxy's Edge tomorrow. Don't got no money to go, but we're going to ride down there and go take pictures. It is a preview. So I need to close this and reopen it so it'll pick up my port. All right, now tools. Board is Rambo. Port's going to be COM number six. We're going to first compile it just to see if it compiles. That's fine, Joe. But when I check configuration Prusa, it's already set up for the two point five. I don't. I guess that's the base since that's what I downloaded. That's what it's for. So I didn't have to change it.
it's compiling the sketch right now. All right, I got an error. I can't freaking read it. Got a bunch of damn errors. Hold on one second. It says I got updates to libraries. Got to update these libraries first. I don't know. Not loose nut in chair. Come on now. I can damn sure can't read that though. Wonder if I can do just the hex and upload just the hex from there. Let's see. Should be the same damn thing I just uploaded. Flash printer firmware browse. Oh, it can't open the COM port because I got it open over here. Close down. Configuration, flash printer firmware. Well, I might have to do some digging and we'll look at it on Thursday because it don't look like I'm going to get it today, Jim. You had a good bet. Could not open COM port 6. Well, that's the port it's on, and nothing else has got it right now. Oh, dear Lord, let's make sure. Task manager. I don't have printer face open, so that's fine. Everything else is dead. In task, whatever that is. 3D print service. I've never heard of that. Really? I ain't seen any answers coming out of your chair either. Uh, still couldn't open it. All right, let's close this configuration flash printer firmware. All right, so it's not showing COM six, so nothing can be connected. Close that. And it can't talk to it with this. Something else got a hold of the port and can't talk to it. Let's go see if I can grab the other one. Rescan. And flash. Something's got a hold of the port and won't turn it loose. Either that or it's got to have power, right? Dummy. Browse here. Downloads there here hex files this one output flash there we go now we're right got to turn it on yeah I did
What you laughing at? <laughs> uh, Matrix, Matrix, get up off the floor. Oh, it flashes just fine. But I had this problem before on my other printer that it wouldn't work with the Prusa firmware either. That's why I had custom compiled firmware on it because we could never get it working. Oh no, if Chris was doing that, he would get on here and do it. Hey, now I can see it. So, what did it say? Hold on, it's got a, this is an unofficially unsupported build. Use at your own risk. Well, I'm getting movement. And then it quits. Let's see. Move Y. All right. So the Y is working fine in the negative, but not in the positive. Well, isn't that funny? But it is moving. So let's try the Z and see what we get with it. Z works fine. In the positive, not in the negative. This is what I had a problem with before. Check the wiring again. They're wired correctly. That, that's what I'm saying. It, it works in one direction, not in the other. It's like the pins are backwards in the Prusa firmware. So what I'm going to try to do is burn the... I can't burn the custom firmware because you have to, there's some, I got to read and see what's going on with that. There's something you have to do to your, your Marlin setup because it even moved the X in the correct way. Right? So if I turn this off and I don't know why it's saying that this is a, uh, hold on. Yeah, I do. No, that's the, that's the, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, nope, that's not the official release. This is the official release. Let's try to burn the official release again. All right, so now, yeah, I know. Hit OK. All right, so now I hit flash. Could not open COM port. Here. Now. Probably have Z on, no, uh, question mark on LCD. I don't know. Let's see. No, it says Z zero. Remember, Joe, that's what the problem I was having before when I tried the original proof. It was having the question mark. This one actually says Z zero. So it thinks it's at zero. But in order to go home, you have to go negative, right? Yeah. You would think. The chief first. <laughs> I don't know. Matrix left. He won't talk to me. So he's the only chief I know. Ain't that right, chief? Well, it ain't you, so we're going to leave you. And see, now, 
I get nothing. So it says it finished. So I'm going to disconnect, cut it off, let it die. Then when I cut it on with the official firmware, I got nothing. It's just a blank screen. So let's go put the other 2.5 back on it. And then I will have to set up my machine so that I can... Well, right there. Let's try that one. That's the one I compiled. No, it didn't compile. When was this from? This was from 4.9 of 2018. Let's go to here. Hex files. Okay, 2.5 Rambo and Flash. <laughs> I bet you do, old man. I bet you do. This is what you watched me for before. When I was building stuff and getting mad, right? Matrix, this is what this is what happens when you try to put a size 10 foot into a size 12 shoe, ain't it? Or a size 10 foot into a size 9 shoe or whatever it is. I forget. It's what I hate about home builds. All right, so now I'm done. It rebooted and said, warning, this is blah, blah, blah. So if I do that, and then I go to try to home it. It doesn't do anything. I mean, nothing. Wait, there went Y. All right, so that end stop is wrong. That's fine. I don't mind that. Yeah, I know. Oh, and it's just going to keep trying, ain't it? All right, so Z won't let me go anywhere below zero, which is fine. And it's moving correctly the other directions. So those are fine. All right, so that one's good. X is not doing anything. Nothing. Go back up to settings. Disable steppers. I see. That should move now, right? All right. Let's move you over here. Now, my end stops may be backwards. And I may have to learn, may have to get the, uh, do the steps to do the, uh, what you call it with that. All right, but I've got X all the way over. And it's not even trying. Do I even got you plugged in? It says it's plugged in. But it's not. 
Won't move if it ain't plugged in, dumbass. What's up, James? Give me this. You're going to have to go out the top, which is fine. I think that's the way you're supposed to go anyway, and I didn't pay no attention. Let's try it again. Yeah, no, they do. They absolutely plus or minus swap. All right, see, it's trying, but it is not. The belt's not too tight. But it's not smooth. With or without help, it's not smooth. And I thought, I'll have to look, but I could have swore I had some more motor somewhere. Because as it's moving, it's skippy. It's, it's, it's jumpy. Anybody? The Z is smooth as silk. Let's see about the Y. See, now I've got nothing from the Y. It won't even go forward. Got nothing from the Y. Is it jumpy with the power cord to the motor disconnect? I don't have the power the motor power cord disconnected, James. I did have, but I don't now. I don't have any pressure on me, man. I don't I don't feel pressured at all. All right, so you are as you should be. At least I guess you are. Let's flop you around and see. That may be because that one of these was had to be backwards. All right, so it doesn't matter which way I turn the motor cable. It'll only go in one direction. And it's jumpy too. So those are jumpy. I wonder if I try them with one of these Z motor cables. Oh, well, that could be why that's jumpy. Because uh, the Z motor cable is wrapped all around it. But I doubt it. I doubt that has a thing to do with it. That should be all right. All right, one of these, you, come on, thank you. Where the hell do you go? I 
why don't let's take you and let's see what you do when I put you on the X. Let's disconnect this Z2. Let's plug this in here and see. Because if that's the case, I think I got some more of them cables. All right, now I've got the X plugged into one of the Zs. Because we noticed the Zs were working just fine. And they were smooth as silk. Yeah, and they're, they're not right. They're backwards. The cable is just not right. Yeah, it's not right. Which that was that was to be expected. All right, get out. Get out of here. You can stay there. You can get out of there. All right. So I know my Z cables work, and they're working good. The Y motor and the X motor right now are not working like they should, along with the end stops but i believe i can just unplug the end stops and change the direction of them i just don't know which one i have to unplug blah 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 what jimmy say you may be right what's the uh m command for that let's uh disconnect out of here let's go to proner face and let's check that real quick Anybody know what's the what's quick? What's the uh oh you gotta have it plugged in, dummy? It won't work without having it plugged in. And turned on. What's the what's the uh M code for that? Come on, I know, Dad Gum well, y'all know. The M one one nine. I won't do anything till I do that. The Y max is triggered. Y minimum is opened, so that's fine. Now Y Y min is triggered, which is correct. Try the X. X minimum is triggered, which is fine. I don't have a Y max. So, oh wait, yeah, I do. That's the. Let's see if the Z, the Z is open, but the Z minimum is triggered. So, do I got my Z plugged into the wrong thing? I can look again. Let's find out. I don't got another USB plug to plug this into. All right. So this is. The Z probe is what the what color that's in the black wire. So that's you right there. Right here. That would be there and there. Go look at that picture. Got to go to the right one. All right. So the pender probe is the red and the red. Make sure I'm right. Red. And red there. Hold on. That may be part of my problem. Disconnect that. Let's turn on the light so I can see. All right. I'm over time. Jim, you win your $25. All right. So, nope. I got them in the right spot. That one's plugged in there. That one's in there. That's correct. 
This one is here, and that one is there. Those are correct. Make sure that that is on the pin. I do not have that plugged in, though. Why are you not plugged in? Which that really shouldn't matter. That's my filament sensor. But it should still be plugged in. Let's try here. In the way. All right, which way does it go? Red to the outside? Turn it off. We're plugging stuff in with it turned on. And it is on the furthest away pins. Right there. All right, so that's on. Now, wait a dead gum minute. No. Okay, so nothing is plugged in there. Nothing at all. What is that red? Extruder, heater, okay. All right, Pender Pro B cable, four wire. That is correct. So all of that is right up there. That one goes into there. This is the this is the pinder probe. That is the left hot end fan cable. So that is correct. And I believe that that's working. Let's turn the light off. Oh, no, he, he bet me that I wouldn't get it done or he'd give away $25. Well, he's going to give away $25 anyway, I, I'm pretty sure. The gift card. Unsupported bill, but that didn't make a bit of difference. My left fan is working. Let's test the cooling fan. wonder if it'll let me do that. Now, let's go to settings. No. Yeah, settings. Fan check. Can't just turn the fan on, huh? All right, so there's that. Now, why is my damn pender probe? Well, it is off, though, right? It's always open. So that it's always triggered. It's when it's not. Is that right? Yeah, the light goes off when it gets close to the bed, which is correct. And this is official proof of firmware. This is not my own. Yeah, no, it ain't got... I don't need tech support for this, man. We'll figure it out. Because like I said, my Z motors are working fine. No, oh, they went that motor. <laughs> I hear you. I'm missing stuff. YouTube notification. What's up, Bryce? Um, no, for some reason, this doesn't want to run as is. So I guess I could set the INT to 12 volts and try it. But let's play with it again on Thursday and see what we can figure out. I don't care if I have to take all the wires out again. It's fine. We'll figure it out, though. All right, so there's that. What is that? What is that right there? Extruded thermistor, which is correct. Okay, the red one. 
is the front, front print fan, which is correct. The extruder motor. That's all good. Good, good. All of that's good. Yeah, I did too. Later, guys. Uh, later, Sergio. All right, so we're good there. Ah, it says filament sensor NA, even though the filament sensor is plugged in. On the right plug. Nope, I'm one off. I'm one off on that pin. That's such a pain right there. Such a pain. I ain't got much longer though. I got to get some sleep. We're getting up in the morning about 6 to go to Disney. Should be there about 10.30-ish. It's the uh, pass holder preview. Now, you're plugged in correctly. You, my dear sir, are you right? Yeah, pinned in the middle. Okay, so you're in the middle, which is fine. That's to the pender probe, which is good. That's to there. As long as that's correct. Because see, this one doesn't have... That could be wrong. And that could be wrong. Those could be backwards. I can turn it around the other way and try it. But I don't I don't know because it doesn't have a clip on it. It's just open pins. So I don't know which way they face. And I can't see a damn thing. Because my hands are in the way. There's that. Let's turn it back on and see. Yeah, yeah. See, it's still saying filament sensor not it, not applicable, and it's plugged in correctly in the right spot. According to the picture. According to that picture it is. Red outside. Blue and white. But see I got red, blue, black and white. So I got a different one. What is this? Is this the two. This is the, the 2.5 S upgrade. I have a different pin. I have a different filament sensor than what they're showing here. Anybody? I hear you, two four seven hinky. Ha! Ah, thanks, Edutech. Appreciate it. She knows. I know. What's up? John, I ain't going to be here long, buddy. I just don't know why. This one shows. The 2.5S was with the filament sensor. But I think they upgraded it after that, right? Yeah.
Yeah, no, it's just the IR. There's no, there's no, it's the original one. The original IR sensor. So I got those, and that's fine. Red to the outside. That's the only way that could be. Mine just has an extra wire. The MK 2.5, not the 2.5 S. I believe that's what I got. I could have swore that's what I downloaded. GitHub. MK 2.5. That's what I downloaded. I think I need the 2.5 S. This one's a four wire instead of the three wire. This is the one I downloaded, though. Show in folder. Yeah, the MK25 zip is what I got, Gusner. But it's showing NA. Can I show the connector? Sure. Which one, top or bottom? Like I said, I ain't gonna be on here much longer. Supper's come and gone without me. Oh, it is red, black, blue, and white. So in that order. Red, black, blue, and white. That's the colors. I don't think there's no damn magnets under there. No, this is just a direct drive. There's no... MMU, there's no nothing. It just goes right down through the hole in that sensor. I can look. Hold on. I'll take the cap off and look. It ain't that hard. It's only two screws. But I don't think there's any magnets in here. Almost 100% positive. Nope. This is the, this is just straight down through. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing at all. I'm in the regular Rambo. I'm on a regular Rambo and I'm following the MK 2.5 build. The MK 2.5 to 2.5 S upgrade because they don't have a 2.5 build. Later, Jim. And they don't have a 
I get another hour. I'm not staying another hour. All right. So if I go to obsolete manuals and I go to two to 2.5 right here. And let's go with, they don't have, they got heat bed and electronics. All right. They don't on the 2.5, they don't even show the yeah, they don't even show the uh there is no filament sensor on the 2.5. So I need the 25S. <laughs> Did you really? Wow. <laughs> high praise, Matrix. High praise, my friend. High praise. <laughs> and yes, I still call you my friend, my friend. I always will. I'm still coming to Tampa. We still gonna we're gonna sit down one of these days. I promise you. I'm gonna try to do it before you die too, you old you old hammer knocker. So let me get the 25S firmware. They don't even have that. Is it just the MK3? 372? Which friggin' firmware is it? Download this. I'll flash it to that. I don't care. I don't think so. Because the, the 25S is the, the INZ, right? I don't want to do that. All right, cut off. Everything's plugged in correctly. Hang up. Something wrong with the firmware. What's up, Michael? I'm having so much fun. Chris Riley needs to fly down here. <laughs> You're right. Now I'm actually losing weight, Matrix, believe it or not. I'm down 10 pounds already. I ain't getting no bigger, my friend. Oh, okay, Brian. Later, Carl. No, I have actually been eating a lot less. Not better, just less. No, Lama, it won't run. It won't run correctly. And I don't think it's bored. That's the thing. I don't believe it's the board that's the problem. It might be, but I don't think so. And this is done. The damn zip tied and turn loose up here. I can't copy that. God dang it. Can you can you text me that, Gusner, or tweet tweet that to me or what the hell ever? I can't copy them on this. I'm on the stream yard and I can't do anything with that. Tell, just send it and tell me where you send it to. Twitter, uh, Gmail, it don't matter. That may be a fact, Llama. That may be a fact. But it aggravates me. Which one is this?
Got nothing here. Let's see something. And it has nothing to do with the thing being triggered. God six. Yeah, Gusner, did you send that to me somewhere else besides in here? I can't copy it in here. Trying to read. Uh, at Country 3D on Twitter is fine. Go to obsolete manuals. I'm there. Which one is this? All right, obsolete manual. Which one? Which one? What? Oh. You copied it out of YouTube. It's a YouTube redirect. And I'm going to say, yeah, go to site. All right. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking at. Filament centric cable use the lower row of pins in the connector and ensure the red wires on the right facing the outside of the board. Ah, that's what I did. That's exactly where it's at. Exactly. And it is plugged in right there. The only way it will plug in. I don't even believe it will plug in the other way. Let's see. Well, it will. Let's see if that did it. I might have had it plugged in up top wrong. Could have been. That didn't even cut off, I don't think. No, it didn't. That's what happens when you got it plugged in. Now it says filament central. I had it. I had it plugged in the wrong way upstairs. All right, move axis. That didn't help me any on my X or Y. Y is working better than the X in one direction. All right, Gusner. Do me another favor. Send me another link to a way to set up Marlin to com to compile the firmware. Yeah, I will, Gusner. Just tweet at me. I've got the link, but can you send me one? Let me go to. No, the X is is the X unplugged? Probably so. Yeah, it is. You're right. It's unplugged from both ends, too. But the Y is not. The Zs are not. The Zs should be working just fine. They're both plugged in. Let's see if they're working. I don't think so. I think I just tried them. Yeah, the Z's not even trying to move anymore. But we'll see. I think we can get it going on Thursday.
No, I followed the 2.5. That's the one I followed for the for the wiring. That that is absolutely correct. That is the one I followed. But you can't download from their download page from their from their proofs of firmware page. I, I downloaded the 2.5, the MK 2.5 firmware, and it didn't work. But I'll try it again. Here, let's try it again. Because right now I'm doing the compiled firmware, the the one that come from GitHub. But when I try to do this one, the release one, I get a blank screen. Thank you. Thank you, Gus. And let me go out here to Twitter so I can follow Gusner. What is this? No, just stop right now. All right, so I should have one right here. All right, I followed you. Gusner, can you send me the link on Twitter where to follow, to follow, to set up my Marlin so that I can, I can compile the proofs of Marlin? Can you do that? I need to set up my environment so I can push this code out here. Okay, thank you. I, I actually followed you, so you could have sent me a private message. You didn't have to tweet it out, but that's fine. I'll go copy it real quick so I don't lose it. I cannot see. I really don't think the Rambos went bad. Just sitting there. It could have. It could have because it's been hot in here. And the humidity will kill them. I mean, I'm sorry, but it'll kill electronics. Let me see something here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Triggered or not, it doesn't matter. It'll go up, but it won't go down. Later, Jimmy. Yeah, but that's not the link to set it up. That's the latest release, which is fine. Where the hell's it down? Oh, there it is. I don't know if this is the Rambo 1A or the 1.3 zip. Hold on. Show in folder. Extract. All right, so let's open this up. Let's burn this firmware.
All right, configuration, flash printer firmware, browse, downloads here. Flash it. Could not open port COM6. Your own, your own. Everything should be good. You're plugged in. You're plugged in. Rescan. I got Proner Face open. Am I still connected? No, it says disconnected, but I'm going to close it anyway. Flash. Now it's writing. Proner face had it and it didn't even need to. Well, I tried flipping it. And flipping it doesn't do that. Then it'll go down and not up. Um, where's the, uh, Gusner, where's the guide to set up your environment though? You, you sent it to me one time and I can't, I can't remember where it was at. And I might go do that. It's got a metal bed on it. I can go get the Marlin firmware and flash it to this and see if it'll work. And that might be what we have to do on Thursday. We may play with this on Thursday. And if I don't get it on Thursday, then Sunday comes around. Chris will be on here. Yeah. When I try that, Gusner, that's what I get. You hear that? Hold on. It's like the pins are wrong on the damn, what you call it? Yeah, I can't use that one. Oh, God dang it. <sighs> this is turning into one of the streams of old, ain't it, fellas? No, I do, I do, but I'm not messing with my Prusa motors. And that's just pin settings, the induction. Th this printer was printing before, David, or Dave. So it actually worked before. I, it's not, this is not a new printer. I actually had this working before. Not this printer. But all of this hardware that I have plugged in right now was working before. So it makes no sense why it's not working now. Oh, it'd be great if I could see in there. Because if I'm not mistaken... I am missing half of my plugs right there. Oh, 
Man. Yeah, I did that. Gustner, I did that. It just, it's giving me an error, and I can't remember what the damn error is, but it's giving me an error. Yeah. I ain't what I want to. Yeah, it is. Browse. Downloads. This one. Oh, wait. Browse. I got the wrong one. I need the other one. Right, that's those. That's not the one I want. Let me do this so it'll shut up. Plug her in. I love that, don't you? Thank you for shutting up. Can I get some pictures of the mini Rambo? Yeah, right. <laughs> you can't even see the mini Rambo. What do you need? What do you need to know, Gusner? Oh, I know what's causing it to scream, Johnny Gardner. I printed one 3D mark. It's right over there. It doesn't work like I wanted it to. So I haven't I haven't put it back in there. I have not put it back in there at all. Right now I'm doing a multicolor print with uh PTG. Later, old commercial. It's reading. This firmware, the MK25 works the version that i got from github the hex file works i just need to be able to compile it so i can change things in it but as i said this whole thing worked prior to taking it apart but isn't that the way it always works All right, so filament sensors off. Disable steppers. Move. All right, so the the up is working on the Z all the way. It'll go all the way. It just won't go down. The README on GitHub is good. All right, I'll check that out. But for now, guys, I got to go. I got to go eat some supper, get ready for bed. We got a long day tomorrow. Um, Thursday, we'll work on it again. I'll cut it off, and we will work on it again Thursday. I will be back on Thursday, and we'll see what we can get done. If I have to sit here and play with Marlin, I'll sit here and play with Marlin. That's what I'll do. I've got an INZ Rambo sitting over here that will work. I'm pretty sure it will work. Um and I can swap everything over to it and see. But I don't believe that's the issue. I believe one thing is the wrong screen is here, which is fine. It's just different than the Prusa one. So the pins are backwards or whatever. And that's causing an issue. But the motors going up and not down makes no sense because they are perfectly quiet going up. They won't go in the other direction. The other motors are working fine, except they're not. If that makes any sense. So.
But anyway. Right, I, and I'm I'm sure it's not it's not the current. I don't think the Z motor currents need to be adjusted. Something's wrong. Why it won't go down? I don't know. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. I, matter of fact, here let's do this. Let's go get Marlin. Let's go get a copy of Marlin. Marlin firmware. Let's just see if we can make it move with Marlin real quick. Download. Latest release, 119. Yeah, let's take that. Why not? It ain't going to hurt anything. I believe you got to change the board to the Rambo, right? Or something. I forget. Hadn't done this in so long. Extract to Marlin 11.x or whatever it is. All right. Right here. Here. Marlin, example configurations. They don't have a Prusa Rambo. They don't have any of that. They don't have the bear. I don't know which one to use. Mini Rambo example. the hell is that at I don't see that on here let's search zero found the mini Rambo one right here back up enter Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that's all good. Marlin. I don't see a damn mini Rambo. I don't see a mini Rambo in the examples. Let me do a search in the folder. See if it's in there. Well... I didn't want to find in files. What the hell? Let me open the folder. That don't make no damn sense. Come on. How is that even a thing? A search for mini Rambo in the folder under example configurations, and it brings back every damn folder. Configuration advanced. Yeah, under the G create. Is that is that I guess? Yeah, the hell with it. Come on. Where you at? Downloads. Marlin. Marlin. And let's go down here and see. It's opening.
been a while. I did. That's what I looked for. It's not there. Where the hell is the board name on here? Is that in the advance? Control F B O A R D. Fine. Nope. Yeah, it's about there. Right there. All right, so this is already set up for the Rambo. Yep, PWM motor current used by the Mini Rambo. Fine, 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 fine. It's the only place it's found. Mini Rambo is not found in configuration. Could have swore. I ain't done this in, in a while, so I don't even know where they're at anymore. Where you set your board at in Marlin? Boards.h? Okay. Yeah. Any Rambo is three oh two. All right, so if I go there and then I go to configuration H F B O A R D underscore fine. Right there. All right. So now I'm going to edit. All right. Scared note file. Do, do, do. I want to build this. Got to set the screen too, right? All right, so there's the LCD. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. Where the hell are they at? It used to be right there. It's been a while. Nope, right there. That's the one I want. 
Rep Rap Discount Smart Controller. He'd be commenting out whatever the other one was, right? I did, Gusner. I don't know, Gusner. I really don't know. It's just something to play with. I really don't know. I don't mind playing with code. All right, everything else should be good. Let's go up here. Let's close this. How's Google? Uh, no, I need you up. Close the fine. Should be completed. It did. Let's upload it. Oh, you gotta be on, man. You gotta be on. All right, it says it's uploading. We'll see. Batteries are dead. Ain't that nice? Looks like it's writing, but I don't see anything. Yeah, it says it's uploading. So we'll see. We'll see if it boots. Hey, Marlin 119. Now, let's see. I got a Z question mark now, which is fine. Let's move these down some. Because I think my steps per millimeter is off a bit. It wasn't the same configuration. The first one I booted up, it worked with the same motors and same everything, Gusner. Yeah, it did. The firmware that was on it was what was running when it was taken apart. Move axes. Move. See, it doesn't move in reverse there either. It only moves up. Why would a why would a Z motor only work in one direction? These are the cables that came with the with the motors. These are new lead Z screws. That's a fact now. Let's try X. Or let's try Y. Are you plugged in Y? I don't think Y is plugged in. Y is there. You're not plugged in up here. All right, that's my X motor from the other one. What the hell's my Y motor? Right there. Yeah, that's my Y motor right there. I need the right one. Hold on. Where you at? You bastard. You are plugged in. Okay, Y is plugged in. 
Let's move, prepare, motion, no. Move axes. Move Y. And it's working fine. Y is working fine. I don't have an X plugged in, so I ain't even trying that. But that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm cutting it off. I'm done. Sorry, but I'm done. I'm done right now. Yeah, I had to get new Z motors, and they both worked. They were both going up and down on the firmware that I had originally on here. And then I upgraded to the Marl or the Prusa, and it ain't worked since. Yeah, no, the, the X assembly is unplugged completely. So it's not even on right now. But that's it. Hey, Chris, how are you, buddy? I'm out. I will see y'all on Thursday at 6 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. I've been on an hour longer than I wanted to be. And y'all know how that goes. So we will see you next time. Thank y'all for being here. Do appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out and putting up with my silliness. But we'll figure it out. It will run. This will print whether it prints with this board or the ING Rambo that's down there or something else, it will print. It got to, I mean, it's got motors. It's got, it's got the stuff to print. We got to make it print. So anyway, y'all have a great day and, uh, we will see you on Thursday. Y'all have a good one, fellas. Take care.